it's almost phallic in the way, and she's like, oh, I see that. Oh. <laughs> I'ma rail this dude. Basically, you said, after she eat that, yeah. I can put my belly on her back. Right. <laughs> First up, Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter, and he also happens to be married to one of our judges. I'm not saying which one, John Legend. I actually love to cook. I'm competing on Snack Off because my wife asked me to do it. Is there any other reason necessary? <laughs> In Kitchen 2 from Girl Code, Brooklyn's finest, no, she's not 5-0, Melanie Iglesias, AKA Big Mama Mel. What's up? I know I kind of lied to be on the show. I said that I love to cook, but in reality, I don't really cook at all. I think the most important thing for me to know today is where the nearest fire extinguisher is. I'm not that good in the kitchen. <laughs> and in Kitchen 3, you know him from Robin Big and Fantasy Factory. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Big Motherfucking Black. You say motherfucking on that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Did... Yeah. Yeah. I was a cook in the Navy for 90 and 94. I was the captain's cook from there on out. So all my superiors hated my guts, hated me. You have 25 minutes to raid the kitchen and use whatever you can find to reinvent this sandwich. We've stocked your kitchens with a bunch of random items to help you out. Put 25 minutes on the clock. Let's save the children, y'all! So I'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich with sloppy joe, a little bit of bacon to make it more breakfasty. I have not made this sandwich before. I'm gonna figure it out. We can't use traditional like slices of bread, so I figure I should make a sandwich with glazed donut. I mean, I'm making an oatmeal pie. I'm gonna cut these oatmeal pies in half. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do bologna, bacon, salami, top it off a little cheese, okay. throw a little whipped cream on top of that, see how that go. I see there's mac and cheese, there's pepper, there's some salsa, there's an avocado. So I just figured I'll just put people's favorite foods on one sandwich and maybe I'll win. I think this is right. Is that on? Pasta is one of my dishes, but for some reason I could not get the water to boil. I think I'm supposed to put that stuff in later. You know what they say, the watch pot never boils, so I tried to like distract myself. <laughs> Let me check on the biscuits. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how to boil water. <laughs> I'm never gonna find a husband. I need this to hurry up. You know, I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed because I thought John was gonna use a pre-made Sloppy Joe mix. That was the thing. And that I was, love that he's making no, it from scratch. Really All right, it's Sloppy Joe time. <laughs> eh, it looks better than mine. <laughs> Doesn't John Legend have enough awards? Why is he on this show trying to win the spork? One minute, one minute left in the competition. Your dishes must be plated and finished when time runs out. I'm looking, I'm looking good, I'm looking good. This looks nasty. I don't have to win this round, I just have to not lose it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up! Hey, drop your plate! Drop your plate! Turn around! Spread your legs! You know what the fuck is going on! Yes! John, let's see what you got. Mm. Flames. Tell us the name of this dish and what's in it. So we're gonna call this Sloppy John. <laughs> Basically, the whole thing's inspired by a breakfast sandwich. The bread is glazed donuts. Inside, we have Sloppy Joe, American cheese, and a fried egg. House-made Sloppy Joe mix. I love seeing you grab ground beef and do it from 100% John seasoning. Clearly, I'm biased, but what I love about this, I love American cheese. You know, I feel like it should be the cheese of America. It's the only, only cheese a patriotic person would use. Oh. oh, yeah. It's actually called the Uneasy Mac, my first time making Easy Mac. <laughs> and it was a bit of a struggle, but um, it's uh, Easy Mac, <laughs> avocado, <laughs> peppers, and um, something else. I'm not really thrown by any one flavor on here. It's definitely not gross. It's crazy. Definitely not bad. <laughs> Thank you. I like avocados, I like salsa, I like mac and cheese, I like biscuits. I like Melanie. But I will say, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> if someone forced me to eat this again, I would happily do it. Whoa! Thank you. Big Black, let's see what you got. All right, there it is. That's my uh, oatmeal pie heaven. It's uh, oatmeal cakes with bologna, then bacon, then bologna again, then bacon. I gotta tell you, man, I, um, I'm not a bologna fan, but the, uh, the oatmeal cookie was like the perfect disguise. Oh. 
Everything in it works really nicely with each other. They're all friends. I do like bologna. I grew up eating bologna sandwiches. This is really delicious to me. Thank you. It's nasty and delicious, and I feel like if like, you got a lady covered over. This is the thing no, you make. No, that's absolutely not. Here, let not. me tell you why. May I explain? Here we go. It's almost phallic in the way. And she's like, oh, I see uh, that. Uh, I'm going to rail this dude. Basically, you said, after she eat that, yeah. I can put my belly on her back. Right. <laughs> is what you're saying. First person being eliminated today is... Melanie. What? <laughs> Are you serious? This might come as a real shock. <laughs> I love you so much. If they would have had blindfolds on and tried the sandwich without looking at it, they probably would have loved it. You each have 30 minutes to create your ultimate signature super snack. Today, you'll be working with an iconic ingredient. Butterfinger! Yes. I've never cooked with Butterfinger before. Um, but I have to say, I won nine Grammys. <laughs> Put 30 minutes on the clock. Let's save the children, y'all. Let's go. The first thing I thought about was Butterfinger fried chicken. I grabbed the tenderloins, because you don't have to keep them in the deep fryer that long. John? Yes, ma'am. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I'm making a uh, Butterfinger buttermilk chicken tender. Are you guys making the same dish? <laughs> That's the challenge I needed right there. 15 minutes left in the competition. 15 minutes. Look at this chicken. It's coming, folks. Whoa, Big Black's got some ice cream for his fried chicken. That's going to be a first for me, I got to tell you. Is that going to be your dredge? No. That's the closer. OK. That's the closer for you guys. Got All something right. special for Go you. Go ahead and do some work. Big was doing a milkshake, and I was like, man, I just might as well neutralize his milkshake with my milkshake. And hopefully, I put more rum in mine. Three minutes left in the competition. Your dishes must be plated and finished when time runs out. I was not getting the Butterfinger stuff to stay on the chicken. I saw two that were looking good. I was like, you know what? I'm good here. That's just street shit. And I think I got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up! Hands up! <laughs> Stop cooking, celebrities! Big Black, let's see what you got. All right, thank you. The dish. It's called the Butter Fingered. <laughs> that is a Butterfinger fried chicken with a Butterfinger rum shake. The chicken is delicious. This is delicious. The most important part of the second round is utilizing the mystery munchie. Yeah. And you can taste it in everything you've done. That's all I wanted um, to. You did a great job. Did you leave the chocolate on the Butterfinger when you breaded it? Yeah, I just dipped it right in the Butterfinger. That's why it's so dark. I think yeah. I just got a little, like, just a tiny bit of, like, a bitter flavor from the, the chocolate in the yeah, fryer, I just like little, that. I put a little Wesley Snipes on it. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. It is the crispy Tegan. Don't oh. lay a finger on my butter chicken fingers. <laughs> 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 the fried chicken has Butterfinger crumbs without the chocolate. And the drink is quite similar to Big's. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it has, um... Without sauce, it, it's a mess, <laughs> but it's delicious. With sauce, it's a mess. It's completely emitting Butterfinger odors. That's the challenge. <laughs> I'm just so happy to know that there is something in life you are terrible at. John, come on. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Today's snack off champion is. Go warm up the hot tub, John, because it's Big Black. Congratulations! Congratulations!